can move with your body, see where you're at today. Feel your back rounding down onto the mat. We'll take a few breaths together to start. Empty all the air out wherever you are in your breath cycle, and then take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Again, take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. One more time, big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. So this week is Fashion Week and it can be a really exciting, hectic time for people. So I invite you to set an intention for the next few minutes that we have together, whether it be to work out or to breathe, to stretch, or just to take a few minutes on your own. Just remember it and come back to it whenever you get. We'll take one more breath together before we start moving. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Hug the knees into the chest. You can rock back and forth on your lower back if that feels good for you. And let the knees fall over to the left side and gaze over your right shoulder for a supine twist. This is the pose I said I liked. And then hug the knees into the chest again. Let them fall over to the right side and gaze over your left shoulder. top position. So hands are going to be underneath the shoulders, knees are going to be underneath the hips. We're just going to start opening up the spine. We'll take some cat cows here. So inhale, open the chest, tailbone towards the sky, look up. Exhale, belly into spine, tailbone comes down, cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, cow. Exhale, curl the spine in, look down, cat. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tailbone down, look down, cat. We'll come back to a neutral spine, then walk the hands forward about one handprint, and then lift the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. So it's our first down dog here, so really ground down through your pointer finger and your thumb. Tailbone is coming up towards the sky, really nice, you guys. You can pedal out the feet, move around, do whatever feels good for you. And then start walking the hands towards the back of the mat, coming into a forward fold at the back of your mat. You can grab opposite elbows here, and then you can hang back and swing back and forth for a rag doll. And then bring the hands down to the mat. We'll take an inhale, halfway lift, make contact with your shins or your knees, your thighs. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We'll walk the hands out to a plank pose. So we're going to hold this for five breaths, really moving down through your hands, pushing up in that space in between your shoulder blades, navel in towards your spine, and we'll take a few breaths here. Really engaging the core here. Take two more breaths, remembering to breathe. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. We'll shift forward to a plank pose again. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to your hands, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, pull forward over the legs. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, look up to the thumbs. Exhale, pull forward over the legs. Really nice, you guys. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to a plank pose. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So we're going to work towards our first flow. Inhale, lift your right leg all the way up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, lift your right leg up one more time. Exhale, step it through. So we're in a low lunge here. Drop your back knee, uncook your toes, and then inhale, raise your arms all the way up for Anjaneyasana. Really nice. 
So this right hip is coming back in space, your left hip is coming forward in space. Keep your shoulders down and relax. Really nice, you guys. And then bring your hands back down to the mat. We're gonna walk our hands back and walk our hips back and start flexing your right toes towards your face for a half split. So you can bend your knee as much as you need. We're just getting into the back of the legs, the right hamstring. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, folding over this right leg. Really nice. Start walking the hands forward. Bring your back knee off the mat. Put you back into a low lunge. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm all the way up for a twist. Your chest is reaching towards the ceiling. Maybe you look up to the hand. And then bring the right hand back down to the mat. Left foot meets the right. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Look up to the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to a plank pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, we're gonna do that on the other side. So inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Drop that back knee, unhook your toes. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up for Anjane Asana. So this left hip is coming back in space, right hip is coming forward. Really rooting down through this foot, keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. Take another breath here. And then bring the hands down to the mat. We're gonna walk the hands back. Straighten the left leg, flex the left toes towards your face for a half split. Again, that hip is coming back in space. You can bend the knee as much as you need, just starting to open up the hamstring. And then walk the hands forward, back knee off the mat, low lunge. Keep your right hand down, inhale, lift your left fingertips all the way up to the sky for a twist. Chest is reaching towards the ceiling. Really nice, you guys. And then bring the left hand down. Right foot meets the left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, look up to the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant the palms, step back to a plank pose. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Sorry, I'm so cute. <laughs> inhale, lift your right leg all the way up. Exhale, step it through. This time we're gonna spiral the back heel down to parallel with the back of the mat. Right arm forward, left arm back for a warrior two. So look down at your right foot and make sure you can see your right big toe. So make sure your knee is going towards the pinky side of your foot, really bending into that knee. Keep the shoulders down and relaxed, gazing over the right fingertips. Really nice, you guys. Let the right palm reach all the way up and back for a peaceful warrior, really bending into that right knee. And then bring the right forearm to the right thigh, left fingertips up to the sky for an extended side angle. Nice. Really opening up the left side of your body. Try not to dump into that right side too much. We're using the core to keep us up, looking up. And then wiggle this left hand down, parallel the feet for a wide leg forward hold. Nice. Perfect. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold over the legs. You can bend into one knee or bend into the other. You can kind of play around here and do what feels good for you. And then Spider-Man crawl back to the right foot, low lunge. Right foot meets the left, plank pose. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Really nice, you guys. Inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. Exhale, step it through. We're gonna spiral that back heel down again and rise up to a warrior two. Your knees go over the left fingertips. Rooting down with this right foot, make sure you can see that big toe on the left foot. The knee is facing straight forward, shoulder facing straight forward. Let the left palm reach all the way up and back for a peaceful warrior. Really nice bending into that left knee. And then bring the left forearm to the left thigh, right fingertips up to the sky for an extended side angle. Really nice, you guys. Getting into 
that right side body, looking up to the sky. And when you have this right hand down, parallel feet, bring back into that wide leg forward fold. You can bend into one knee, bend into the other. Just remembering to breathe. And then Spider-Man crawl back to that left foot. Left foot needs the right point to it. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing up. Let's shift forward to a plank pose. And let's the right toes away from the mat. Bring the right knee towards your right elbow, and then bring it back. Left knee up and away from the mat. Left knee, left elbow, and then bring it back. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing the elbow. Really nice, you guys. You should have felt that in your core if you didn't. <laughs> Inhale, lift your right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, step it through. We're going to root down to this right foot and then rise up for a high lunge. So rise up your body here. The palms are facing in towards each other. Bending into that right knee. Bring the left fingertips forward and the right fingertips back for a twist. Really nice. Bring the right hand to the back of the left thigh. And then bring the left hand all the way up and back for reverse. Really nice, you guys. And then bring back off the left side. Bring the hand to the heart center. Bring the weight into this right foot. Move forward. Left toes come up and away from the mat. For a warrior three. This is a really good balance. So you can keep your hands here. Or you can up and go back. Towards the back of the rim. Or something more challenging. Towards the front. And then bring the hands down to the mat, left foot stays up in the air, taking you to the back of the room. Left foot beats your right for a forward fold. Bring the big toes together to touch, bend the knees, drop the hips, put the top in the chair pose. Oh, really nice, you guys. Take two more breaths here, easy, easy. And then pull forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway to the forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to a plank pose. And then the hip coming back, downward facing up. Inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. Exhale, step it through. Move down to that left foot. Rise up, high lunge here. Bend into that left leg. Moving down to the right foot, left leg, sorry. Bring the right fingertips forward, left fingertips back for a twist. Pushing towards the left side. And then bring the left hand to the left right thigh and lift all the way up and back. And then bring back off towards the front of the room. Hands to heart center. Bring the weight into the left foot. Move forward. Right foot so come up and away from the mat. It's a warrior three. Keep mm -hmm. your hands here. Or reach to the back of the room. And then bring the hands down to the floor for a standing split. Really nice, you guys. Right foot meets the left. Toes together. Bend the knees. Drop the hip. Chair pose. Squeeze the knee on the thighs. Like you're trying to hold the tendons between your thighs. And then fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway, let's look forward. Exhale, hit the palms, step back. Straight, tight, pose. And then bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's drop the knees, big toes together to touch, and then bring the hips all the way back for a child pose. We'll take a few breaths here. Walk the hands down, or you can stay up. Whatever feels good to your head, but as I ever 
too much. Just back out of it. And walk the hands back up. Shift your arm to your left side and turn the legs out in front of you. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold over both legs. You can grab your feet or your ankles or your calves. Whatever feels good for you, you can bend the knees as much as you need. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees go out wide. You grab the inner soles of the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, you can use the elbows to kind of gently push down and fold forward over the feet. And gently roll down all the way onto the floor, flat onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest again. We're going to let the knees fall over to the right side, these are on the left shoulder, same way we started class in that supine flip. Then hug the knees into the chest again, let them go over to the left side, knees over your right shoulder. knees into the chest again. We'll finish with a happy baby pose. So grab the outsides of the feet and kind of pull the knees in towards your armpits. You can move back and forth on the lower back if that feels good for you. And then gently release the feet. Let the legs go out long. Arms long by your sides for Shavasana pose. So this is just the last few minutes to sort of, sort of absorb everything that we just did. Focus on your breath and just relax here. Gently start waking up the fingers and waking up the toes. Shake your head yes or no. And then hug the knees into the chest. Let them fall over to the right side. And then get yourself back up to a comfortable seated position when you're ready. Bring the hands to heart center. Close the eyes. We'll take a big inhale together here. Exhale, let it out. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Questions, let me know. Really good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.